Today we have really big news about Princess and Coffee. All of our Let's Go family members and those of you out there just joining us who love your coffee, enjoyed those coffee packages. This is really big news. You might remember that Princess canceled um, the coffee packages uh, about, oh, a month, six weeks ago. Time goes by kind of fast around here, but um, really big news on that. We're also going to talk about Alma Waterways for a minute because tomorrow Gordon and I are embarking on our very first river cruise. We're going to be on the Avalon and Vision. So I'll bring you up to date on that and then I'll let you know what we did today in Munich. Hi there, this is Allison with Let's Go Travel Tips. And like I said, today we've got really big news that Princess has just today announced that they are partnering with a coffee company named Lavazza, if I'm saying that right. It's L-A-V-A-Z-Z-A. -Z -Z -A. They are a very well-known coffee company. They are very well known for having excellent coffee with rich flavors. So Princess has announced this partnership saying that when you are on board their ships, you're not only going to have the option for your hot coffee beverage, but they are also going to sell ready to drink coffee in cans. And along with that, they are going to have, let's see what they call it. They're going to have educational events. They're going to have tastings. They're going to have pairings with your dinner menu items. They are really going to take this partnership, it sounds like, to the next level and have lots of things based on coffee available on their cruise ships. So it sounds like this is going to roll out across the different princess ships depending on availability. So it doesn't sound like as of a certain date, all of the different ships will have this coffee available, but I think it's going to be really interesting to see. To me, it's going to be interesting to see if they start offering this in the buffet, as well as in, um, for example, down in the International Cafe and the other places where you would get coffee on the ship. So we're going to all have to keep an eye out and let each other know when we see this um, becomes available everywhere. Um, with this release, I thought it was kind of interesting. John Padgett made a, um, a public um, comment about it. He said, with a relentless focus on what's important to our guests, we are upgrading the experience and magnifying our Italian heritage with La Vazza. And so I was thinking about Princess princess's Italian heritage and I'm thinking he surely must be the um the reference to the ships that have been built in Italy there um I really do really enjoy a lot of uh princesses um Italian and Mediterranean cruise itineraries as um, those who have been with us for a while would know um in looking at what's available in 2024 um I'm not quite as crazy about all of those offerings as much they're a lot more northern um, like a lot more out of Southampton, a lot more um, that you see a lot more of France and Spain and not quite as many that go around and catch the Mediterranean um, into Greece and um, you know Santorini and all those islands as much but there are still some really great itineraries out there so um want to, if you're wanting to go to the Mediterranean it's wonderful if I wasn't going to the Mediterranean on Princess I would go on Celebrity I've been looking at those itineraries a lot too but anyway for those of you um who love to drink coffee let us know have you heard of this brand of coffee before have you ever tried it what do you think about it they have not made any announcements about any packages with this no announcements, of course, about pricing. So that's going to be something else we're going to have to um, kind of help keep each other up to date on when we see this roll out on the different ships. But hopefully it's a step in the right direction for um, what people will enjoy with their specialty coffees on board. And I look forward to hearing from you all about that. The next thing that I wanted to mention to you, like I said, Ama Waterways. Alma Waterways, if you are not familiar with it, they are a family owned river cruise um, ship business. They are amazing. I have actually, last year when I was at the convention for Dream Vacations, um, November, last November on the Norwegian Encore, um, I had the pleasure of meeting um, the wife of the husband and wife team who own Alma Waterways absolutely amazing people and so clearly i haven't been on on the waterways yet although they are on my list of ships to try but um i wanted to let you know you know we talk about trying new things around here and i think it's really important to do that that's why for example we are going on a river cruise tomorrow i feel like i want to give it a try not only do i want to visit the places that the ship goes to but i want to experience 
being on a riverboat cruise. And so just when you are thinking about your plans for 2023, and as we're all starting to think about 2024, and if you can imagine 2025, um, they are going to have five ships, five sailing in France, five ships for the tulip time cruise itinerary. So, you know, when the tulips are all blooming over there in Holland and everything, and then they are going to have 10 other river boats on the Rhine, the Maine, the Moselle, the Danube, and the Dor Douraro rivers. And so they really have a lot of options. I thought it was really cool that they were the very first um, cruise lines that offered the complimentary bicycles on board so that when you would come into a town, you didn't just have the option to get off and walk around on your own or to take an excursion with the ship. You also had the option to take a bike and, in, and explore on your own. They also um, were the first to have an onboard wellness program. And this is so fun. This year, they are the first riverboat cruise to have a pickleball port, uh, pickleball court <laughs> on the um, sun deck of the Ama Magna. And so that's just a fun thing. We talked about that on um, some pickleball coming to Celebrity. And a few of you mentioned there's some pickleball available on some of the princess ships. I think pickleball seems to be taking um, take, taking places by storm. People really, it sounds like they either really like pickleball or they don't, but if you really like it, you're going to have the option of paying, playing it on the Alma Magna. Um, the last thing that I wanted to let you know about this is um, they do river cruises that go like at Christmas market time. They've got a lot of availability. They're also having a riverboat on the Mekong River. So they are um, opening up like riverboat cruising. I know that they are looking forward to doing riverboats in South America as well. Historically, a lot of the time we think about riverboats going mostly in Europe, which is um, extraordinary, but it sounds like they're opening the whole world to the whole riverboat thing. And so that's worth taking a look at. And if you need some help with that, I would love to help you. Just send me an email let's go travel tips at gmail.com and I would be delighted. And if you have got questions about river cruising, put them in the comments below or send me an email so that I find out the answers this week. Okay. Because I'll be very well situated to do that. So, um, tomorrow morning we are going to catch the transfer. We are staying in the Hampton Inn in, um, it's Munich West and it's really very well situated. If you need a recommendation for Munich, it is very like within walking distance. It's not far at all to get to the train station, which connects you to the trams and the underground subway type thing that you can take all over uh, Munich and then further afield as well. But it's really very well situated for that. Um, so when we got here, of course, this morning, we went through, customs went really smoothly. We landed and we had to take, they just load all the passengers onto buses and take us over to the main terminal, went through customs, like I said, it went really smoothly. And then we got our luggage and then we had to decide if we wanted to take a train or if we wanted to take a taxi. So we decided to do the taxi. I think it was a little bit, uh, we were both really tired. And so um, we saw where the train, where you would go to get the train and having done the train this afternoon around Munich, it goes really smoothly. I'm not afraid to do that at all. I think we were just a little tired right then. And so we took a taxi. Be aware, it is expensive to take a taxi from the Munich airport to our hotel and the traffic was not bad at all. We had a slowdown here or there, but not very much. It was 102 euros, okay? So um, taxis, which we know are expensive, that was expensive to me anyway. So be aware and um, next time I would do the train, even if I was really tired, I would say we're going on the train. But um, so now you know, and if you wanna do a taxi, now you know about how much that costs. We had the cutest driver, he pointed, he didn't have tons of English. He pointed out um, several buildings along the way, it was really nice. He did a really great job of getting us from the airport to our hotel. So when we got here, what time did we get here, love? Like 11.30. At 11.30. Um, and our flight landed at like 9.30. That gives you an idea kind of how long, and I would say the drive was about a half an hour. Half hour to 45 minutes. Half an hour to 45 minutes. The rest of the time was getting through customs and waiting for our luggage. So um, anyway, so we got here, they were nice, gave us our room. We put our things down and got out there. Um, it was pouring rain. And so we did um, decide to take a taxi out to the, Nymphenburg Palace, and it is really beautiful there. You can either do a tour of the um, palace or you can pay to have a, ta a tour with the palace and the museum. And you can also do that with and without the audio guide, 
we went ahead and paid for the audio guide because I enjoy that. A lot of times audio guides tell you things that are in books. I've I've noticed, um, not that an expert on the location would not know, but I don't have time to be an expert on that location right now. So we did that and really enjoyed it. We did not do the museum because we knew that there were other places we wanted to go, but um, we really enjoyed getting, I think it's 18 rooms that you get to tour there in the palace and the gardens are beautiful with it raining so much. We did not go walk around in the gardens a lot because along with the rain, it was blowing really hard. And so, um, anyway but we really thoroughly enjoyed it it was really nice then we stopped at a little cafe and got a treat it's really interesting to me here when i go to italy um if you've been around here you know that's my favorite place or when i go to greece in the tourist areas i'm not talking about um several streets in where it's um you know where you don't get many tourists or in a town that's you know a little bit further afield from a tourist location generally people have a little bit of english to help you with and i try to learn a little bit of words i know a few words in different languages just to try to sh be polite and um, do my best they a lot of people here even like in the little cafe we went to that was right next door to the nymphenburg pa palace like not enough english to take our order to even know we wanted to order and gordon's holding up the menu and pointing and she's not getting that we even want food and so um i would say next time i would probably um memorize more phrases before i came here that's just me. But anyway, we had a really nice time and that we were able to point to, to like this apple tart in the case and try that. But um, so anyway, after we got done with that, then we took the tram and it did take a little while. We took the tram to the subway and went over to Miriam Plots. I hope I'm not saying that wrong. We went and saw several of the churches that are really close there. We saw the Glockenspiel. We, um, we got over to the Alta Pinotech, if I'm saying that right, and they were closing early today, so we didn't get to go in. Usually their um, last entrance is at 4 p.m., and they were closing early today, same with the Glyptotech, so we didn't get to go in those. So I don't know if we are going to do those when we come back um, next week before we fly home. Um, we've made a tour to go out and see New Schwanstein and uh, Linderhof palaces. So we might be, I don't know what we're gonna do. If you have a vote on that, let us know. We um, just booked, it's just like, you know, a group tour um, to go on the bus. And I wanted to see the Bavarian mountains a little bit more and get out that way. So that's why we did that. So let us know. Um, otherwise we will just see those museums when we come back. We ended up having dinner and you know, they have the rat house or rat house, however you would pronounce that. It's like where the government buildings are right now, uh, where they used to be and where there are government buildings still. And there is this place called the Rat Skeller, if I'm saying it correct, restaurant. And it's downstairs. And so we thought we would go take a look and it is beautiful. Um, the ceilings and the way it is done is how it has been for centuries and they have painted them beautifully there it's very beautifully decorated um so and they serve very traditional german food so gordon got um the the gentleman called it the waiter what did he call it like home cooked potatoes it was sliced yeah. up fried up potatoes <laughs> with um the bratwurst and the fried onions on the top and i got the spatzel when they call it with mountain cheese on it and then a little bit of fried onions on top they were both absolutely delicious and they gave us so much that by the time it was time for the dessert we didn't have any more space and that whole dinner was 42 euro 71 cents so just to give you an idea on prices um that was really nice oh and the um taxi that we took from our hotel here we literally walked out and we're walking down towards where you get to the um like the train station and it was just pouring down and raining so hard and blowing so hard that I just said, there's a taxi there. And so we grabbed the taxi. And so that was 15 euro, just to kind of give you an idea for distance. You can look it up on the map, the Hampton Inn, West Munich, and then over to the um, Nymphenburg Palace. But other than that, we did use the Metro. And so we went in, enjoyed that. And then we took the Metro back. And the fun thing is, is in their Metro stations here, it's like if you have done the Metro in, um, well, in Washington DC even, but like in Paris and London and other places, they will sometimes have stores. Sometimes there's more than others, but I really enjoyed it. So they had like some pastry places. What's the name of that love? 
Um, and so I got a couple to try. We haven't tried them yet this evening. Where's but, Chart? How do you spell that? R-I-S-C-H-A-R-T. And they have so many things to choose from. There is like newsstands in there. There's pharmacies in there. Um, there's not a grocery store though, because I wanted to get some German, different kinds of German chocolate and there is no grocery store in there. But just so you know, there are fun places um, to kind of just, I love just going and seeing how everybody does everything. And when we were coming home this evening, you could tell it was towards the end of rush hour because we'd eaten dinner and everything. So it was just kind of fun to see all the people out and about and how many people use the public transit it and how smoothly it really does run. Um, when we were getting back, it was just pouring down rain. So I'm really hopeful that we'll have some nice weather tomorrow. Um, just about, um, how far is it to the Sofitel? The Sofitel is where we have to go tomorrow morning to catch the transfer. About a kilometer. Uh, about a kilometer down to um, Passau, Germany. So we're going to um, do that tomorrow in the morning and then get down to the ship, And um, we'll, but we'll take you along. So if you've got questions about anything, let me know. We've had a really nice day. We are really tired, so we're going to go to bed. It's, um, what time is it here? 8.10. It's 8.10 in the evening. So we're going to get this video up and get to bed, but we've had a lovely day um, and we're really appreciative that all of you come along. Thanks for being excited with us. We're tickled pink that you would come with us. So if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe so you can stay up to date um, with us on what we're doing and where we're going and what we, the important things that I think um, I wanna to talk to you about with cruising and everything. And uh, if you appreciate these updates, would you please give this video a thumbs up? It really does help us. It lets YouTube know that someone enjoys the, what we're putting out there, so it offers our videos to more people. So thank you. I'll be talking to you all again really soon. You all take really good care. God bless you. Love you. Bye-bye. <clears throat>